Did you know you can mix AI 1.0 sales-oriented repricing rules and AI 2.0 profit-oriented repricing rules to get better results in Q4? How do you do that? By using conditional repricing strategies, you can easily switch between different rules to have higher sales or profits. Hi, Amazon sellers. I'm Samuel from Be Cool, and here's Alex. We recently launched our AI 2.0 repricing rules, which are gonna help you make higher profits on your best-selling items. Today, we will share with you three conditional repricing strategies that you can use in Q4 or even after Q4 using our latest AI rules for the best results. Let's get started. Let's see what kind of new strategies we have prepared. The first conditional repricing strategy is based on units sold. It's actually a very simple strategy where you're gonna have two different scenarios based on the number of items that you sold in the last seven days. If it's higher than a certain amount, then Bequel will use the AI match buy box rule. And if it's below the desirable amount, then our repricer will use a more aggressive rule from AI buy box wins. Let's see how we set this up. For the first condition, we're gonna set that if units sold in the last seven days are greater than or equal to 10, then we're gonna use AI grow profit. In this case, we have a good amount of sales, so we don't need to aggressively reprice, and we could just use the AI match buy box rule to enjoy higher profit margins. For the second condition, we're going to set that if units sold in the last seven days are less than or equal to nine, then we're going to use a more aggressive rule, which is the AI equalizer. So we can see that once the number of our sales goes below nine, we're switching to repricing it more aggressively so that we can sell our items faster. And once the number of our sales go above 10, the Bequal repricer will automatically switch to AI grow profit again. As you see, the best part is that you don't need to monitor it by yourself and keep checking the number of your sales all the time. Our conditional repricer will do it for you. This is a very simple and good strategy to apply. So if you think it's something you want to apply, make sure to take some screenshots. Now let's move to the next conditional repricing strategy. This strategy is based on your listing's buy box win percentage. So our Be cool repricer will automatically check your buy box win percentage every 24 hours and see what rule it should apply. In this particular strategy, we are setting that if your buy box win percentage is greater than or equal to 35%, then you're going to use the AI crop profit rule. Once your buy box win percentage goes below 34%, then you're going to use AI equalizer, which is a more aggressive rule. All the way to 16%, we are going to use AI equalizer. And if it goes below 15%, then we are going to switch to a more aggressive rule, which is AI sales booster. So from 15% to 0%, our repricer will use AI sales booster, which is a very aggressive repricing rule. As you can see in this conditional repricing strategy, our Be cool repricer will help you automatically switch over to different rules based on the performance of your buy box. If it's performing well, then we will use a less aggressive rules and once it goes below a certain amount, we will change it to a more aggressive repricing rules. And it's all automatic, so you don't need to do anything manually. Also, if you feel you want to adjust this rule and set different percentages for your buy box wins or other repricing rules, you are also welcome to do so. We just shared an example we think will work the best, but you can modify it and make it even better for your selling needs. All right, now let's move to our third conditional repricing strategy. This strategy is based on inventory age is the reason why this is a very useful strategy if you wanna make sure you sell your items before 90 days. And if you don't wanna go back every time and check it manually, this strategy will help you to do that. For zero to 30 days, we'll choose AI Grow Profit, which is our brand new rule from AI 2.0. The reason why we chose this rule for zero to 30 days is that usually for the first month, we could try selling the item at higher profits, especially if we're doing a test buy. For the first 30 days, we'll basically just match the buy box price and we'll undercut the buy box price. This will ensure we sell at or above the buy box price. Then starting from 31 days to 60 days, we'll use a little more aggressive rule, which is the AI equalizer. This rule will help you win the buy box more aggressively and it will go to your min price if needed. Starting from 61 days and all the way to 90 days, we'll use an even more aggressive rule, which is the AI sales booster. 
This is the time when we will soon start to get some additional charges from Amazon. And also we need to free up our cash flow, which means we need to sell our items as fast as possible. Then from 91 days to 180 days, we'll switch to AI sales maximizer, which is the most aggressive rule. And in addition to that, we'll lower our ROI to 10%. So we will sell our item even faster. Starting from 181 days, we'll lower our ROI percentage to 0% to sell items even faster. In this case, we won't make any profits, but we also won't lose money. But at least we won't keep paying additional fees from Amazon. So this is a strategy that you could use. It's pretty straightforward, and a lot of sellers actually like to use the Be Cool Inventory Age Conditions strategy. So you could try it out and let us know what you think about it. Again, make sure to take a screenshot to remember these exact settings. I hope you enjoyed our new condition repricing strategies and will apply them to your listings. And you can always modify the numbers there and the rules. The settings we shared is just an example of our recommended settings, but you can always try something new. If you haven't tried our condition repricing yet, that would be the really good starting point. Just try to apply some of the strategies we just shared. Also, if you haven't tried a repricer yet, make sure to try it soon we provide a 14-day free trial and you don't even need to insert your credit card to try out a repricer make sure to use the number one ai repricer on the market which is the bequel repricer let us know in the comments below if you have other questions about conditional repricing and we'll see you next time